Selfies on hijacked planes this week as Ben Innes, the man who became famous for taking this picture, was on your telly box talking about why he did exactly what he did. Described by his pals as being very into his banter, Ben's been chatting to a number of news sources who all wanted to know why exactly a selfie. I, I thought of several ways in which I could you know, further interact with him, of which taking a selfie was one. If he went for a selfie, what genius ideas did he turn down? How can I use my banterous ways to get to know this man? Uh, I could ask if he wants to sign my arse or inquire if he enjoys the music of Pitbull. Decisions, decisions. There was an actual strategy behind taking that photograph with, with the hijacker? Yeah, believe me, it was a, a very thought through process. I don't believe you. I wanted him to understand that I was a human, I was doing human things. What the f*** does that mean? I didn't want him to know I was a giraffe doing dolphin things. I'm clearly a mammal. Ben also stated that the selfie was a chance to get a look at the hijacker's explosive device. And once the picture was taken, he then returned to his seat to plot his next move. What's your next move? I was thinking a Snapchat. Maybe a Vine. And Ben, Sorry. you have said that your mom told you not to do anything to draw attention to yourself. But folks, I want you to spare a thought for Ben's mum, who through this whole nightmarish scenario where she almost lost her son, had this to say. All we can say is that the picture is clearly not a selfie. You can clearly see that it's not Ben who's taken the picture. Here's the thing though, right, being completely honest, I'm on a flight that's been hijacked. The only person I'm trusting less than the hijacker is the Scottish man. I have no regrets. With an English accent.